Hello everyone, welcome to my Berserk read through. Now, people might be interested in this. A lot of people have been telling me to get into this. They've said how great Berserk's manga is. They're just saying how, how awesome it is. A lot of my uh, weeb, fellow weeb YouTubers are like, you gotta read Berserk, man, it's great. So I'm doing it. Though, I will admit that um, it will take a few volumes before and Berserk readers will know this, it will take a few volumes before I can have a solid opinion on it, because it does seem like it's a slow burner. It does seem like this entire volume is just setting up the, the world and the character of Guts, which I, I appreciate. You get that in a lot of fantasy books as well. Like, it, they a lot of them have quite a slow start because they've got to set everything up, right? Um, and, you know, I kind of respect the author for doing that, and I'm sure that if I wasn't just going to do, like, a volume over time thing, I would have just binge read a lot of it first, but I, I want to talk about it as I go along, and you guys can see my opinion changing it over time, right? Um... I will say first, if you're a little youngin, this is a parental advisory. There is titty in this, and there is blood and gore and guts. But more importantly, there's titty in this. <laughs> a little bit. Um, it's an interesting story. It's, it's, it's definitely set in a fantasy world, which I like. I always like fantasy worlds. Um, it seems to be like medieval-inspired fantasy. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot of, like, magic like in typical it's just it seems to be they're using weapons swords he has this cool crossbow thing on his arm it's cool um anyway the actual book starts with a sex scene however on my first read through i missed the page i can't show it on stream but after the uh sex scene there's like a uh intro page or whatever so i, I completely missed it but he's like having sex with this woman and she turns into like a demon that he then kills, I think. Um, so that kind of sets the tone of the story, right? It's it's an explicit piece of literature, I guess. Um, anyway, it probably starts with uh, Mr. Berserk, Guts Berserk. His name's G Guts. Um, he goes into like a town and he goes into a tavern and there's this little, an elf, I guess, it, but she's like a, he or she, actually, I don't know. I, um, I'm just gonna say they, they are like a little fairy and, um, and they're being beaten and tortured by a bunch of, bunch of nasty people and Guts comes in and it looks like Guts is saving this little fairy from being beaten and tortured by a bunch of Nazi brutes, but actually... Um, he's just trying to interrogate them to find the whereabouts of their, their leader. And he just kind of leaves and doesn't even untie the fairy. The fairy, sorry, he's an elf. Okay, I'm going to say he. People are telling me it's he. Um, the fairy is called Puck, which I assume is a reference to a Midsummer Night's Dream. Puck, uh, the fairy in Midsummer Night's Dream. So you got Puck in this, which is cool. It's also an easy name for me to remember, which is great. And I like Puck. Let's just talk about Puck and Mr. Guts at first, because their chemistry is kind of the first thing that comes into into play. I don't know how long Puck is going to be around for, but they've kind of got the chemistry of, like, Geralt from The Witcher and Dandelion, or, um, uh, like, Paimon from Genshin Impact, or it's pretty much, you when you have, like, a brooding main character like Guts is, who doesn't speak unless spoken to, really, you need a character like Puck to be annoying and ask him questions and say things that he wouldn't say so that you can get you can get information out of guts and learn more about guts because he isn't one to talk by himself because he just he just is doing what he needs to do and he seems like this strong swordsman you already get the impression that he's strong he like sliced a bunch of dudes straight away and it's like Wah! um but what I is interesting about guts and again I think guts I don't know much about his character so far but he he comes off as like I think like a cool character that you're supposed to be like he's cool but he probably has some sort of hidden scars underneath on top of which I think he lies to himself a lot there are parts in this story where you clear that he's desensitized to violence and one of my favorite quotes from this first volume that comes near the end um is um if you're always worried about crushing the ants beneath you you won't be able to walk right 
And it's saying that like small people that get in the way, if you're worried about hurting small innocent lives trying to do what you're going to do, you'll never get anywhere. You've just got to focus on yourself and not think about it, right? Um, and it's it's a different because with protagonists you don't normally have that. That's quite a morally grace stand stance, right? Um, and it's the it it sounds more like something he tells himself so he doesn't feel the guilt of all the innocent people he gets killed by his reckless actions, right? He could also just be that way, but I, I, I kind of feel like that's the case. I don't know. We are um, just on volume one. Anyway, you get the context of this. You already know that there's like some sort of weird demon spirit things, right? From the original thing. You get the context of this town that's being plagued by this evil guy. And Guts wants to kill this guy. But it's clear he doesn't want to kill that guy to save the town, right? Because he puts the town in danger. He actually gets a lot of the people in town killed so he can lure that guy out so he can kill him himself, right? Um, he, So you get... I think the characterization is pretty clear from the get-go. Guts does what he wants and he just does it. Um but you don't know his motivations yet. You don't know why he wants to kill this guy. This guy ends up becoming like a big lizard demon and he like slices into him and he does this thing where he sets him on fire. It's all very cool, badass. The art is good, but I will say, unlike the other two manga that I've already talked about, it isn't super clean. And I think that's because it's an older thing. Uh, it's more, This is more of a style, personal preference thing. I wish I was reading it, it was bigger. I wish I kind of got like the big black versions. What are they called? I think that's what they're called. Uh, so that I could see the art more clearly because there's a lot of detail there and the detail is good, but sometimes it makes some of the panels where a lot of stuff's going on a bit more difficult to read. It's not so clear, um, but I still think it's effective. The art's really good. It's not bad. It's good. And he's definitely, um, uh, it's just at some points I'm just like, uh, what is going on? <laughs> Um, and it, I actually kind of, it's interesting how everything is really detailed and gruesome, but Puck is actually quite simply drawn. And I like that contrast. It makes Puck stand out from everything else and helps. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's cool. And actually this is kind of a style, Berserk's, I don't know when it's from. Is it from like the eighties or the nineties or something? But manga from this style was, a, was manga from that era was kind of in this style anyway. So, um, and I'm also sure it will change over time as well to be better, better, more, you know, because artists improve over time. So it's already good, but I'm sure it'll get even better is what I'm saying. Um, he burns the demon. He does the big slash. It's really cool. It's awesome. Uh, it's a lot of good fighting. I actually got through Berserk pretty quickly because there's not a lot of dialogue. It's mostly just him going around and fighting people. Um, he, the, the, the demon says something like, I'm a, a, an apostle or something. And Guts also has like this mark. So the, the, the story sets up a lot of mysteries, right? Immediately, like Guts seems to be belong to some sort of organization because of this mark. Uh, there are these demons that he's trying to kill. It doesn't make sense to me yet, but that's fine. Cause at this point it's just it's showcasing me a lot of questions that I will get answers for later down the line. What does this mark mean? Wh who does, what does he do? Who are these demons that he's trying to kill? Like these monsters, these creatures, I guess they're not demons. Um, he said at some point, like the mark attracts evil spirits. So he, he's like, as Puck is annoying him, I do like their chemistry that they have. Again, it's quite like Geralt and Dandelion. Um, they, he he comes across this like this this holy man and this uh and his daughter and uh he gets attacked by some demons and some like skeletons and stuff and she she's like really nice to him and that's just immediately a death flag like the moment i saw her i was like she's gonna die right <laughs> and she does she gets impaled through the chest um uh, and she gets impaled from through the chest, and it's like, oh shit! And she's just dead. And 
then you have this really cool, it's like a pretty decent amount of pages of Guts, Mr. Guts Berserk, um, just fighting skeletons. And it's cool. He fights them in interesting ways. The old man also dies. It's where we get the interesting thing where Puck's really upset that they died, but uh, Guts Berserk is like, um, well, you've worried about crushing guns. You'll never be able to walk. Um just think it's good it's good so far there's not a lot of things i could particularly mention because it is so far just setting up the character of guts and setting up these things uh he then goes to this town i think um where he has a bunch of knights fight him because he threatens the leader of the town because they're killing people for being heretics there are definitely religious undertones throughout this thing and I'm, I'm certain that this book is going to be very critical of religion which i'm interested and excited to read about to see how they handle that um, they go to this town, there's a big man, uh, really, like, gruesome looking fellow who's, who just looks like the embodiment of, like, greed, and, uh, he's fighting tons of guards, it's clear that he's outnumbered, and then he escapes, and there's this disfigured little guy who shows him an egg. Now, this was just really funny to me, because he, because he shows him this egg, which I'm gonna show on stream, and then he goes, a bailet? A bailet? And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that is or what? <laughs> and it's just an egg with like a mouth and a nose on it. Um, and <laughs> It's just an egg. <laughs> and I'm, it's, it's quite a good hook. It's quite, it's quite a good hook. Because volume two, I'm like, oh, what is the egg? What's the egg going to do? Um, but so far, he's just gone to towns, beat up a lot of people, and killed these apostles. And it's really just opened up a lot of questions about him and why he's doing this, or, you know, what his, what his background is, and what the fuck is this egg, and what does this mark mean? Why does he have this curse? What are the apostles of? I think they mentioned a name, but I can't remember. Um, but it it's more just set up of the world. That's it. You're just, you, you, you know, this is like a grim, dark fantasy setting, medieval, people die, life is dispensable. Um, what is the egg? That's all I want to know now. I want to know the egg. Um, and yeah, and that's, um, that's really, I don't really have much else to say about Berserk. Guts seems like an interesting character. He seems desensitized to violence because of something. Uh, I don't know what his exact driving motivation is, but I'm interested to find out. Uh, I like Puck. I think Puck's an important character. I wonder how long Puck's going to be around for. I'm interested to... F what I'm mostly interesting about, interested about Berserk is other characters in the story. I'm interested to meet what supporting characters will be like in a story like this. Um, so, I don't know. I'm excited to read more. I know it's not much because it's a slow burn at first. Um, but if you want to continue hearing my opinions about Berserk... Uh, I will be continuing to read it. I already have volume two right here. And I'm going to be reading this this week. And we'll just see, we shall see. We'll just see what happens. I will keep reading. Uh, so far, interesting start. It's just introduction to the character in the worlds. I get it. Cool. Uh, I am intrigued and I will keep reading. Thank you guys for watching this video on my berserk discussion. Uh, so far, it seems interesting. I can't really have an opinion on it yet. Um, but yeah. It seems cool. Seems interesting. We, we shall see. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I live stream these on Twitch at twitch.tv backslash rustage underscore if you want to see them live. Uh, thank you for everyone watching and thank you for everyone hanging out and and stuff. And you can see their opinions on Berserk down here as well. That's why I have it there. So awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And um, crew dismissed.